Hello, Internet. Welcome back to the Story Nook. Today we are going to read another old fan fiction of mine. This one from August of 2016. It is simply called Beach Day, and it's called Chapter 1, but I don't think I ever wrote a second chapter to this. If I did, it's lost in a spiral notebook somewhere because it was not posted on this website, and I don't think I posted it to fanfiction.net. So, go ahead, grab your tea, your coffee, your hot cocoa, whatever it is you want, and we'll go ahead and begin reading and see, and yeah, I should be able to finish this before my husband gets off work. She brushed her blah, 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 blah. <laughs> she brushed her, brushed her hair out of her face. She was super excited for today. It was the first night she was going to be free in months. She bit her lip as she stared at her face. She stared into her makeup drawer. Did she need any makeup? Would she look better or worse if she put some on? She was already dressed in her swimsuit. I'm going swimming, she thought to herself. I don't need makeup for swimming. She closed the door drawer as she tweaked with her hair some more. Her hair had gotten longer over the years, and she had yet to cut it. Couldn't find the time was her common excuse when anyone asked, though they only asked when she was complaining about its length. She stood up and turned around in front of the mirror. Her swimsuit was a one piece, the top cut in a V, strings of seashells dangled from the breast line all the way around. Since the section swimsuit that covered the stomach was transparent, most would think it was a two-piece. Amy beamed at herself. She looked good, and she liked that. The beach was, a li was as lively as ever. Several of Amy Rose's friends were there. Antoine and Bunny were walking along the beach holding hands. It was beautiful. Hershey was laid back, tanning. Her husband, Jeffrey St. John, was asleep in a beach chair beside her. A book was covering his face. Sonic was standing by a grill, cooking food. Knuckles was helping him. Sally was building sandcastles with Nicole, Blaze, Cream, and Cheese. Amy saw Rouge, Tails, Mina, and several others swimming in the ocean. Amy walked up to the sandcastle. Hey, what's up? She waved at, as she walked up. Wow, Amy, Cream clapped her hands together. You look like a model. Amy blushed. She's right, you really do, Sally beamed. Where did you find a swimsuit like that? Amy rubbed her neck. A family friend made it for me. Amy blushed at the thought of her mom's best friend, who also happened to be a fashion designer. But Amy was going to leave that part out. So what have you been up? So what's been up with you? Rouge flew up t to them. You've been in Mercia so long, it feels like you forgot all about us. Amy gave a nervous laugh. I didn't forget. It's just been hectic. What with the new baby and little John going through puberty, Rob and Marianne have their hands full, so I've been helping with a few minor things here and there. Well, I hear you've been doing a pretty good job, Sally stated. You're becoming quite popular. Yeah, is it true that someone sent you a whole cart of flowers last month, Nicole asked with bright eyes. I heard that too, Cream clapped her, her hands. Is it true? Who were they from? Amy giggled. It's true, a cart of flowers were sent to me, but they were potted. They were given to me because I mentioned I wanted to make a garden for some of the kindergartens in the country. That sounds awfully kind of the donator, but who was it, Blaze pressed. Amy sighed. She told He told me he didn't want anyone knowing they came from him. We'll keep it a secret, Rouge smiled as she sat down. Amy rolled her eyes. I doubt that. Just tell us, Cream begged. I really want to know. Shadow sent them, though I still don't know how we got so many, Amy added in a, in a thought, but he's always had a soft spot for children. That's not all he has a soft spot for, Rouge mother. But that does explain why he was shipping so many boxes from my club last month. Yeah, I knew it was him the moment I read the address. 
It actually didn't take long for me to get him to confess to it, but he doesn't want others knowing, so Amy held a finger to her mouth, the other girls mimicked. With that, they went on building sandcastles and playing. Amy swam a far way out to sea and dove under. The fish she could see were beautiful. Amy loved the ocean for this fact. She could swim for hours. At least she would if she could breathe underwater. Amy panicked as something almost fell on top of her. It was blurry, but it was obviously a person. She gasped at the surface and crossed her arms as Sonic the Hedgehog scattered to the surface. Somebody save me, he cried. You have to learn to swim eventually, Faker Shadow called from the shore. Did you throw him in? Amy turned to the ebony male with a stern look. Shadow nodded. And I wrote this to be continued. Twas never continued. But that is the end of it. And I don't really remember this one. I know I tried adding Hershey and Jeffrey to a lot of fan fictions, because they're my sister's favorite uh characters from the Sonic one. Specifically, she loves Jeffrey St. John. So I tried adding them in to kind of get a feel for how I would rate them. But yeah, we this this is what I wrote. Thank you all for being here, enjoying the video, all that good stuff. Uh, go ahead and let me know if there's anything you want me to read down in the comments below. I legit am willing to read anything at this point. I hope you enjoyed. Uh the speed paint of whatever it is I'm working on that this is going under. I've been working on two Sonic uh, comic strips that I'm going to make animatics of for this June. Constantly, I've finished the art for one of them. So, yeah, I don't know what's going to be underneath these for a while. Probably more Sonic Chows or thumbnails. But thank you all for being here. You're awesome. Once again, thank you very much to my YouTube channel members, Patreon, and Kofi supporters, Diamond and Micah. You guys are way past cool. Uh, just heads up, becoming a channel member, you get access to the art live stream archives, and you also get fun little emotes that I still need to work on and create. But let me know what you want. And yeah. Have a good day. Bye-bye.